Welcome. This tutorial is going to talk about creating a non-destructive dodge and burn layer in Photoshop. So to start out by making a dodge and burn layer in Photoshop, you're going to create a new layer. So in the bottom right hand section of your screen, you'll see a little square with a plus sign in it. That's going to be the button you click to create a new layer. As you can see, when I clicked it, it created the new layer. Just to keep things organized, I'm going to change that name from layer one. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to change that to dodge and burn. That's just going to help us stay organized. The next step is to fill that layer with 50% gray. So to do that, we go up to edit at the top of our page, go to fill. That's going to bring up the fill dialog box. We're going to change the contents from foreground color down to 50% gray. Then you'll click OK and you'll notice that the entire screen goes gray. That is a good little checkpoint for you so that you know you're doing it correctly. Under the layers tab in the bottom right hand section of our screen, you'll see the blending mode type. So right now it's set to normal. My cursor is kind of going around it right now. When I click on that, you're going to bring that down to overlay. So when 50% gray is adjusted using a blend mode of overlay, that's what creates the non-destructive dodge and burn layer. So as you can see, if I toggle that layer on and off, you see absolutely no difference in the image itself. So with that layer on, we'll then move over to our dodge tool. So when you click on that, you'll get the option of dodge, burn, or sponge tool. For the dodge tool, you will then use that tool and dodge any spot of our image that you want to brighten up or make lighter. So I will just quickly demonstrate doing this little section of the pier here. You can see it's getting a bit brighter. Pretty much all the sections that the sun hits on the pier, that's where we're going to dodge just for demonstration purposes. And dodging a little more here. As you can see, I did zoom in. So for best practices, you should be dodging and burning and doing all of your editing really at 100%. Right now I'm only at 80%, but I'm just more so demonstrating rather than doing a nice proper clean edit. So now, actually let me go in and do a little more here on the wood where the wood would be facing the water as well, or the sun I should say as well. You can really see that difference, that change happening there. And almost done. There we go. So when I zoom out and I toggle on and off my dodge and burn layer, you will see the difference. We get the much brighter spots where the sun is striking the boardwalk area. Similarly, if we then wanted to burn areas or make darker, we would do that by clicking on the dodge tool, opening it up so that we can choose our burn tool, selecting the burn tool, and I'm just going to burn in this sort of area here where it's on the boardwalk. Again, I'm doing this just quick and dirty just for demonstration purposes. This is not a clean edit by any stretch of the imagination. So again, zooming out and toggling on and off, you see the difference there. And another way you can check to see where exactly it is that you have dodged and burned is with your dodge and burn layer selected, change that blending mode back from overlay to normal. And you're going to really see those areas where I've dodged, they're going to appear whiter or lighter. And then the areas where you've burned are going to appear darker. And then just keep it as overlay. And that's how you create a non-destructive dodge and burn layer.